I, I want to rock and roll all night And party every day I want to rock and roll all night And party every day I want to rock and roll all night Hello all, this is Scott Grove of Groovy Productions Mobile DJ Service uh, here to save you guys a lot of grief on the Chave 4 bar systems. Uh, a lot of people cannot seem to link these things together and get them to work using one foot controller. So doing the master slave thing. It's very easy. Here it is, okay? Check it out. Yes, it works. <laughs> okay. And no, you don't need DMX cables. You do not need a DMX terminator. You don't need anything special. I'll just show you how to do it. And I'm using two different ones. Here we go. Okay. What I have here, I'm actually using the four bar as my master. And I've got a four bar flex down here. And this is not the original stand. They were like, everybody's like, well, what do you use for stands? Right here, kids. Speaker stands. Okay. All right, there you go. They're tapered just enough on that end that you can. I've got another video on here. Look for it. Um, but yeah, it fits these perfectly, and they'll go up to eight feet high. And it shows how to get them up to twelve feet high with these stands instead of the cheapy, crappy stands that come with these. Okay. Do these actually work together with one foot controller? Oh, it can't be. Okay. Let's see what happens. By golly. Look at this. There's proof that it actually works. Okay, zero problems. Okay, let's do it in sound mode. I'll just stamp my foot. Okay, everything great. Okay, no problems. Go to colors again. And off. See, everything works. Here's how we do it. Again, up here on the top, we have the regular uh, four bar. It's just doing, put it on your menu on sound. Okay, so you can just step through your menu button um, right here until you get the SND for sound. Come out of your DMX output with a regular microphone cord. You do not need a DMX cable. It comes down to the next one. You do not need a DMX terminator either because you're seeing me use it and it's perfect um, I've got the power from the top one just ran into the power out here so that they both power up at the same time which is a nice feature so you just plug this bottom one in the uh, flex and they both come on you know, at the same time so they're both actually powering up and syncing up at the same time Here's where everybody gets it wrong. It has to be on D1, as a lot of people have found out, as far as your DMX address. But here's where you have to get it right. Go to Menu. Okay, D1. Yeah, but you're like, which one? Okay, there's sound. It's over there doing its thing. Um, here's your auto thing. It's just going to be over there freaking out. Okay, so it's not this. It's not three channel, it's the next one. 1.5 D1. That's the key to the whole thing. 1.5 and then make sure it's on D1. Not 512 or anything else, just D1. So sound on the top. 1.5 D1 on the bottom. Okay? and then it just goes away down here whereas this one just kind of stays lit but there you go and there's nothing else to it that is it and I'm just using the controller and the top one and to the master as we're supposed to and then the slaves and as many as you want make sure they're on 1.5 and they're all addressed to D1 and it will work perfectly every single time so proof is in the pudding. Anybody who has been trying to figure this out for years. <laughs> Bam. Bang. Boom. Bitty bop, bitty bop, bitty boom, bitty bang, bitty bang. So power them all, all on at the same time. 
which just means plug them in together on the same power strip or whatever, but that kind of helps and you're not going to have any problems. And again, sound of me stomping my foot. What else can you say? And done. So once again, Scott Grove, Groovy Productions here in Mesquite, Nevada, mobile DJ service. Just hope that helps. And again, for these um, cheap-ass light bars that come with these, the stands, use just your regular um, speaker stands. And uh, like I said, that has the taper at the top of them, and it fits, as you can see, <laughs> um, right there, perfectly. People are looking for a better stand, just get high-quality speaker stands. And then um, hyper-extend the bottom of them. Okay, so, you know, when you open them up all the way, keep opening them up past that, and that'll get you a few feet higher. And then you can even use an extra bar of this from another speaker stand if you want to and put it on top of this one and get another four feet. Put an O-clamp around the other bar that's attached to here. You can go 12 feet in the air with these things. Again, I do have another video right on here. Um, just look for, um, again, four bar stand solution is the name of the video. Four bar or chave stand solution. You'll see it in action. Once again, you guys be groovy. Uh, plug it up that way. Shout at me if you have any questions. Uh, happy that I could help you guys uh, figure out how to finally make these happen. Be groovy. Take care. Bye bye. I, I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. I want to rock and roll all night.